Pro Group Management. Workers Comp that works for you. This is 7 at 7 from the Las Vegas Review Journal. Good morning, everyone. I'm Renee Summerauer. We start off with your top stories brought to you by Nevada Hands Silver Sky Assisted Living Community. Learn more at nevadahand.org. Three people were arrested Monday and accused of stealing catalytic converters in Henderson. 20-year-old William Castellanos, 21-year-old Javier Torres Ibarra, and a 16-year-old boy were found Monday. They were inside a vehicle on West Galleria Drive and accused of removing the expensive car part from vehicles, which can cost up to thousands of dollars. All have been charged on multiple counts and are pending a court hearing Wednesday. A helicopter that routinely takes tourists to the Grand Canyon made a hard landing in Boulder City Tuesday afternoon. Seven people, including the pilot and six passengers, were injured. The Boulder City Fire Department responded to the landing at the Boulder City Municipal Airport, where for unknown reasons, the helicopter made a hard landing after returning from a trip. All seven people on board suffered non-life-threatening injuries. The National Transportation Safety Board will be handling the investigation. Also in Boulder City, police arrested a man after they say he was driving 122 miles per hour. This happened Christmas night. The driver claimed he was keeping pace with the traffic on Boulder City Parkway, where the listed speed limit is 55 miles per hour. The man was charged with reckless driving. In more top stories, it was one year ago today that Nevada's most powerful federal representative died, but his legacy continues to play a major role in silver state politics. Review Journal's James Schaefer has more. Nevada and Las Vegas are what they are today because of the good work of my friend Harry Reid. Senator Catherine Cortez Masto fondly recalled the life and legacy of Nevada Senator Harry Reid, who started the Democratic Senate Majority PAC, which raised $131.5 million in securing Democratic Senate seats like that of Cortez Masto. Outside of the organizing infrastructure Reid built and supported, Reid also advocated staunchly for Nevada to be the first state in the West to hold a presidential caucus supporting even the idea for Nevada to be the first to caucus in the country. In his time as majority leader, Reid aided in the Affordable Care Act, immigration reform, and blocking efforts to store nuclear waste in Yucca Mountain. And Reid's impact on the so-called political Reid machine continues to deliver state senators in Nevada, growing the Democratic majorities in the state legislature, showing that although Reid's namesake is gone, the political machine lives on. For the Las Vegas Review-Journal, I'm James Schaefer. Now for your weather report, brought to you by Star Nursery, your garden's partner for every blooming thing. After a cloudy day and some rain, sunny skies are forecasted for your Wednesday. Today's highs reaching around 63 degrees with light winds coming from the northwest. Tonight, evening lows around 41 degrees. For the rest of the week, mostly sunny skies to partly cloudy skies heading into the weekend. Daytime highs will range in the mid-50s. Evening lows will stay in the low to mid-40s. We could see some rain and wind chances heading into the weekend. In your business news, sponsored by Bank of Nevada Bank on Accountability, the long-delayed Fountain Blue Hotel has added five veteran gaming industry leaders to its executive team. Among those joining include Colleen Birch, who will take over as the chief operating officer and oversee day-to-day -day operations. Fountain Blue is scheduled to open in late 2023. For a full list of new team members, visit LVRJ.com. And right in the middle of the action on the Strip lies the Pepper Mill, a timeless restaurant and lounge now celebrating 50 years in business. It has become a must stop for locals and visitors. We're going to go to the Pepper Mill right from the airport, everybody. Right from the airport, you're our first stop. Or if they return, they have to. They'll call me. Everybody knows Peggy. Let me call Peggy and see if she can get me in. After opening in 1972, the Pepper Mill has become part of Las Vegas history. Featured in the movie Casino, it served as a hot spot during the mob era. Guests from Elvis Presley to Nicolas Cage and Carlos Santana have made the neon-clad restaurant a frequent stop. As it celebrates five decades in Las Vegas, be sure to read more at LVRJ.com. Sports, sponsored by DNR House of Diamonds, making luxury affordable, located in downtown Summerlin. The Golden Knights ended the third period Tuesday night tied with the Kings, but gave up two goals and lost 4-2 in Los Angeles. The loss snaps the Knights' four-game road winning streak, and their lead in the Pacific Division over the Kings closed to just three points. Injury issues continue to mount up for the Knights, as defenseman Alec Martinez did not play in the final two periods. 
Sports betting, sponsored by Las Vegas Paiute Tribal Smoke and Cigar Shop. The college football bowl season continues Wednesday with four games. Duke is a three and a half point favorite at the Westgate Superbook over Central Florida in the Military Bowl. The total is 62 and a half. Arkansas is favored by three over Kansas in the Liberty Bowl with the total 68 and a half. Oregon is a 14 point favorite over North Carolina in what should be a high scoring holiday bowl. The total is 75. And Mississippi is a three and a half point favorite over Texas Tech in the Texas Bowl. The total is 71. In your health news, sponsored by Boulder City Hospital, we're here for you when you need us. According to COVID-19 data analysts and medical professionals, people 65 and older now account for 9 out of 10 COVID-19 deaths, a higher proportion than any other time in the pandemic. Of 75 deaths reported in Clark County in November, 65 or 87 percent were in the age group mirroring national averages. And Clark County is helping to shine a light on the resources available to those in our community who may be struggling with mental health or thoughts of suicide as the holidays can often be a challenging time for many. According to the Nevada Office of Suicide Prevention, there were 603 deaths from suicide in 2020. For signs to look out for, head to LVRJ.com for links and resources. Vegas Nation, sponsored by Station Casinos, STN Sports. Download the app today. While the Raiders are mathematically alive for a playoff berth, the team could consider benching starting players for a look at younger talent. Here's Raiders offensive coordinator Mick Lombardi on backup QB, Jared Stidham. I mean, Jared comes in every day, works, works extremely hard, um, does a really good job on the scout team, giving the defense a good look, and, you know, he has to make sure he's ready to go, just like everybody else does, just like, you know, Zemir White does to do it running back, because you never know what, you know, he's got to be ready, prepared to play. If you're active at the game, you have to be ready to play. So he makes sure he does it every single week. In your entertainment news, a new jazz club and restaurant is set to open in downtown. Here's a look at the rendering. The new 8,500 square foot space called Vix will be located in Symphony Park near the Smith Center. It unites a jazz club, an Italian restaurant, and gaming bar and sports lounge. Named for the Vegas Vic neon cowboy, Vix is set to debut in early February. Everybody, it's Carrot Top. Welcome to Las Vegas. Happy New Year! That's Carrot Top in a new video released by the Las Vegas Metro Police Department. The Vegas headliner is helping to give important reminders to those planning to celebrate New Year's Eve on the Strip. Officials expect more than 400,000 people both on the Strip and downtown. Thank you for joining us. I'm Renee Summerauer. Be sure to join us tonight at 7 at 7 p.m. as we give you some of the top concerts to check out on New Year's Eve. If you have Amazon Fire TV, just search Review Journal to download our channel. Watch Las Vegas breaking news streaming live on your OTT device. From the Las Vegas Review Journal, have a great day. Review Journal Studio, sponsored by Adam Kuttner. Get the maximum settlement as quickly as possible. This 7 at 7 update, sponsored by Pro Group Management. You're watching 7 at 7 from the Las Vegas Review Journal.